and welcome to There is a Beautiful Me. I'm Crystal Davis. If you are new to this show, I welcome you. This show is for anyone and everyone, but most importantly, it's for those young women who are seeking God as being that modest woman and representing themselves in a manner that God would have them. This show is to be uplifting and inspiring to those who want to know more about Christ. During these shows, I will have different guests who will discuss health and natural beauty. So that way you can also be updated on different health and beauty tips. The base and foundation for this show is of a Proverbs 31 woman. So in the beginning, I like to open up with a scripture breakdown of just a few verses of the virtuous woman scripture. Verse 17 states, she sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her task. This verse still shows how we never stop working or give up. You will face times where you may think you can't do anything. God says different right here. He makes her arm strong for her task. He gives us the strength to make it through. All our help is from him and anything we are given is by him. So despite what or where you may be in your task or challenge, if it was in your heart to take it on, God meant for you to do that. You take the work you put in and go on and work hard and steady for that. Do you like glamour, glitz, and God? In this next segment, we will be discussing and demonstrating extreme makeover techniques that will transform you into God's glamour girls. Learn a few tips on makeup application by professional makeup artist Stephanie Graham and a professional wardrobe consultation by image consultant Tony Allen. Lastly, we will focus on a message to transform your minds by author and motivational speaker, Elisa Allen. Stay tuned for more. Princess? Me? I don't feel like a princess. Oh no, I don't feel like a princess. You know what? I just don't look like a princess. Now I'm a princess. Now I'm a princess. Hello and welcome back to the show. As you can tell from the video, these girls are not too sure of themselves, but today we are going from a cover girl to a cover girl. As I mentioned earlier, we will transform you into God's glamour girls. I have with me three beautiful ladies from the FBI. Yes, I said FBI, but the FBI I'm talking about is Faith by Influence. This company provides fun, innovative ways to encourage and inspire people in your life. Now, we are blessed to have with us the founder of this amazing company, Alisa Allen. Alisa, thank you for joining me today, especially coming out to share one of your workshops. I'm just so honored to just have you right here in my presence. So just to start off before we go into the show, can you tell me a little bit about the FBI program? Sure. And first of all, thank you very much for um, having us out today, Crystal. Mm -hmm. um, it, it is an honor and a privilege to be here. Um, it's always an honor and a privilege to, to share um, what I've learned and I've experienced in my relationship with the Lord. And what it is, it's, it's a compilation of a lot of the lessons that I've learned mm -hmm. through those God winks. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we um, have workshops and seminars that um, are, are interactive, are very fun. They have team building sessions. Um, they also have um, interactive icebreakers mm -hmm. and games, prizes, as well as inspirational and motivational lessons. Mm -hmm. And um, we offer those um, to youth groups and to women's groups and to um, church organizations and civic organizations and in school. That's beautiful. Yeah. Because it's a lot, I know, because you see it all the time and people just don't really see how beautiful they are and then also if even with appearances they, people like to focus on appearance but it's like beautiful inside as far as your character you can be beautiful with your dance or with your talent you know it's different ways of you know for beautiful as far as the adjective it could be an adjective yes in a sense we have with us two other ladies in the studio for this segment demonstrating a makeup 101 and different styles and tips on outfits you can wear for various occasions 
Is that right? That's correct. Yes. Okay. So I'm very excited for this first lady. We have makeup artist Stephanie Craham. And can you tell us a little bit about her and, you know, what she's going to be talking about? Sure. Stephanie is the proprietor of uh, MIA, which is uh, the makeup image agency. And uh, Stephanie is going to be demonstrating some uh, makeup tips for us today. Okay. And uh, Tony Allen is the founder and proprietor of Simply Style, and um, she is an image consultant and wardrobe um, and a life coach. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and she'll be talking about dressing for success today. Okay, well, thank you, and let's take a look at that. Hello, and welcome to There Is a Beautiful Me. I am here with Stephanie Cram of the Mia makeup image makeup agency excuse me and she is the executive sales director and also a makeup artist herself and today we are going to be discussing the external part of our segment which is beauty and this is the makeup tutorial and stephanie here can you tell us please first just a little bit about the mia agency yeah so we are a makeup image agency and what that means is that we are really devoted to not only the application of makeup, but the education that goes behind it. So we have a strong presence inside of all of the schools in Texas. We educate students on how to apply makeup, like what to do with it, what each product stands for, what each product is for, really the education portion of what makeup is in total. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna highlight under her eyes. And to do that, I'm just gonna use my stencil again. I'm gonna take this, hold it right there. Mm -hmm. You wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know, <laughs> I think I might. Whenever you, you you're uh -huh. just gonna hold the gun, okay. press it, pull back for color. And you won't even barely see the color come out. I mean, it's mm -hmm. coming out a little, but just press it down. Like no color is coming out. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hold this stencil here. And while I hold it, you're just going to go in little circular motions right along the edge of it. Okay. And then do this. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so now, so how do you. Okay. Never mind. I think I got it. Is it okay if I and use you both hold it hands? like a pencil? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it okay if my fingers back here? It could or? be. Yeah, that's fine. You just want to. Oops. Most people hold it like a pencil, mm -hmm. but yeah, and you just get used to it, pull it back for color, mm -hmm. and you make little circles. Is it there? Mm -hmm. I can't really tell. It's coming out, yeah, and you're just going to want to make really tiny circles right in there. Awesome. Well, this is our full face. Chessie, how do you feel right now? Um, I feel really great. You do? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Stephanie. You're I do appreciate welcome. it. And this has been the beauty segment of Cover Girl to Cover Girl. Next, we are going to talk about our style and how we can dress modestly and professionally. We have wardrobe consultant Miss Tony Allen here in the studio to show us some ideas of her alternative styles to a professional, modest look. Hello and welcome back to the wardrobe segment of Cover Girl to Cover Girl. With me is Miss Tony Allen, and she is a fashion consultant and also a life coach. Life coach, and she is going to be telling us about little wardrobes from her own company, Simply Style. Thank you very much, You're Crystal. Welcome. It's a pleasure being here yes, today. thank you so much. I'm very excited about this, and I hope that you guys are too, everyone that's watching us. Uh, I am an image consultant. I've been in fashion, working in fashion for more years than I care to admit, <laughs> so, but I am ex well experienced. That comes with age, comes with experience. And I think you, I have a lot to offer you. We're going to not be too detail-oriented, but just try to, uh, talk about some things maybe from a different point of view that you've heard uh, with uh, dressing for success. It's very important uh, to know who you are uh, and where you're going and setting goals. And you can have the right thing on, but it's a package. So it's not necessarily because you have the right clothing on the outside 
that it's going to work for you on the inside. So how you look and how you present yourself uh, has a lot to do with how people, what people think of you and the perspective that they have of you. So what we're going to do right now is just bring out our lovely models. And uh, we're going to tie is our first model. She's in the banking business. Very lovely young lady. I'm sure that uh, we can all agree upon that. Um, and as you see, she's wearing something that's very important. The smile. The smile uh, is very, very necessary. Regardless of what you're wearing, you got to have the smile. Uh, she's also wearing separates. Uh, she has an outfit on that you can wear day, night, uh, we call ageless, we call non-seasonal, things that you can travel with, uh, something that she can wear on her job. She's in banking. Uh, you uh, put on a jacket, take off a jacket, change your accessories, and she's ready to go. So this is the thing that we want you to recognize. It's not how many pieces you have, but what you do with the pieces that you do have. Thank you so much again, Ms. Tony, for showing us no, thank everything. You. Thank I appreciate you, you coming thank out. You. And I hope you all learn something and, you know, have your own style. Like she said, be unique and embrace your beauty. Alisa, you also have with you a... Yes. Some inspiration. So this is our mm -hmm. takeaway message. Okay. So going from cover girl, right? Yes. To being a covered girl, mm -hmm. which means God has you covered in any situation, in any circumstance. Mm -hmm. So this says... You know, I'm, I'm not a perfect girl, and my hair doesn't always stay in place. I spill a lot of things. I'm pretty clumsy. And sometimes I even have a broken heart. My friends and I, sometimes we fight. And maybe some days nothing goes right. But when I think about it and I take a step back, I remember how amazing life truly is. And through all my imperfections, God still loves me. This has been another segment of There is a Beautiful Me. You just saw Cover Girl to Covered Girl. And if you want to learn more about my show and what I do, you can always check out my YouTube channel at There is a Beautiful Me. And you can email me at ProverbsBeauty31 at gmail.com. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Prov, P-R-O-V, 31, beautiful. Before we go, I do have a special guest artist in the studio with me. His name is Quincy Weststone, aka Q Stone, and he is a producer, songwriter, sound engineer, musician, and artist. So please stay tuned for Mr. Q Stone himself. And remember, there is a beautiful me and you you are God's beauty inside and out. Don't let nobody, no situation, dictate how your day gonna go. I know sometimes you can have a bad day, but if you wake up in the morning and you just say, I'm gonna have a good day today no matter what, I think you'll be all right. Uh. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I'm feeling real good. That's why I woke up early this morning. I woke up early this morning. I done hopped up early in the morning feeling good. I'm blessed with another day to see my neighborhood. Just to walk outside and see the sun shine. I got to keep in mind that I could have been blind. So I can't complain about nothing. I got to get up, move around, and do something. I can't sit still. Cause still ain't the will of the Lord.